The first thing you guys want to do today is look over what you did from last time and see how much more work you need to do from your oil pastel. So the first thing we'll do is finish doing our oil pastel. Remember we were doing our name or a nickname and then some sort of a significant number and you can overlap those and then you just keep going and you can change your numbers. You can add something else too if you want. Um, or this could have been a D for me. And then, once you're to this point, you are ready to start painting. And this is what is called a wax resist, because the watercolor that we're gonna paint over each square will not cover the part that's been paint, that's been, um, has the oil pastel thickly. So you're gonna get your brush, dip into some watercolor, and look how cool that looks. So you can do, um, you can do paint over the white spots. You can paint over the part that has oil pastel and some will kind of sneak in there and get in the crevices that didn't get filled real well. So you can do each square in a different color if you like. And um, you can repeat colors, you could do a pattern. It is up to you. So I can't wait to see what exciting things you guys turn out um, with. Don't forget that Mr. Brush needs to take his nice relaxing bath every time he goes between colors and dry off on the mat and then you're actually you don't really need to dry off on the mat in watercolor but you're just ready to go back in to the next color and start a new rectangle as i was painting i forgot one of the most important rules in watercolor which is that wet watercolor next to wet color are going to run into each other so that's what's happening right here if you don't want that to happen on yours you can skip, so I just painted this one, so now I'll go to this one. Just skip around and until they kind of dry a little and then you can go back and forth. If you don't want it to run into each other, then skip, skip one and go to the next one or go up and then down. thing to remember is to always keep your paper flat. So all these drippy spots of watercolor will run if you pick it up and they'll drip down your whole so it your whole page. So if you're turning it, just turn it flat and when you're done, you're going to carry it to the drying rack. And when you carry it, you want to hold one hand on each side long ways. You're going to carry a pizza box. The delivery man just came and you're going to carry it on each side. So we're gonna take it like this over to the drying rack. Once two are in there, if you fill it up, you're gonna put the, the um, next metal tray down. 